my name's Mark and today we're going to be going over this title boxing soft strike heavy bag and why it's such a great value option for you jumping right into it as you can see this is kind of your standard 14 inch round 48 inch long traditional heavy bag this particular one is 100 pounds but they do have a 70 pound option on the outside here, it's got this synthetic leather cover that actually is holds up very well. I've had it for about six months and haven't noticed any um, real issues. It's very easy to wipe down and it's held up well, like I said. Inside, it's packed with a machine-packed polyfiber blend. When you hear soft strike, um, you might think that your punches will sink in, there's no real pop on the bag, but I'm here to tell you that that was a major concern of mine when looking into getting this soft strike bag, but it, it holds great and it feels great when you're punching it. This packing also makes it feel great when you aren't wearing any gloves. I would say maybe 25% of the time, I'm not really wearing any gloves. I'm kind of doing a type of workout where I can just jump right into this and jump right out of it. Um, and it feels great on my knuckles, on my wrists. There's no pain anywhere after use, which is wonderful. Um, another thing to note, like a lot of heavy bags will just kind of sink and it will be super hard on the bottom and not very hard up top. This does do that to a very minimal extent, I would say. It feels great, even bare knuckles on the bottom. A lot of bags you can't even do that with um, because of all the weight that just falls all the way to the bottom of the bag. When you're hitting the bottom, it just feels like rock. Um, soft spots on this bag, I would say one of the main soft spots is actually just this right here, where, where you see the logo. It, it's, it's a little bit softer than I would say the rest of the bag. I don't mind it. Some people complain about the stitching, how it's out like this and not flush. You can maybe cut up your bag or whatever, or cut up your knuckles, but I haven't found that to be an issue at all. Getting into the stitching actually, the stitching is holding up very nicely, cross stitch seams that hopefully, I mean, like I said, I've only had it for six months, so only time will tell, but I don't see an issue with it at all. I would say maybe the synthetic leather in some spots, very few, is kind of like worn, but as nothing, it's not affecting the integrity of it or the stitching or anything. And I think longevity wise, I think honestly, I'll have this bag for a very long time to come. I think the aesthetic of it honestly looks incredible. Um, when it comes to the branding, the red T lettering, the soft strike on the bottom, and the gray. I love, I love the appeal of this thing. You see it hanging in all my other videos, and I think it looks great in the home gym. Getting into the nylon straps up here. These are great. Um, I would say compared to a chain, I prefer the nylon straps over them just for the minimal sound. This isn't a boxing gym. This is a home first, so... I got two kids and a wife. I don't want to be bothering them every time I'm out here, maybe early morning or whatever. So these, these are great. I would say that they are just kind of fraying like a little bit in some spots, but I prefer these over the chains any day. Also, it comes with uh, the D-rings. So two D-rings on the nylon strap up there, and there's actually one D-ring on the bottom underneath if you wanted to anchor it to the floor. Considering I have the 100 pound bag, it doesn't um, sway too much. I actually like the sway of it. When it is coming back and swinging, I can hit a good hook shot or uppercuts. Again, I already mentioned the length of this is 48 inches long and I think it's the perfect length. Prior to this, I did have a wrecking ball heavy bag from Ringside, which I, I thoroughly enjoyed. I mean, like a wrecking ball. I believe it was like 60 or 70 pounds. Um, a lot of fun to use, but I wanted something a little bit longer that I could uh, like throw 
throw kicks if I if I so desire. Or um, just just more of a traditional style heavy bag. I ended up getting a Titan banana bag. It was cheap. It was free chip shipping, which was like a very enticing thing to me. So it brought the cost down a little bit. But when it got here, it was just too long. It was dragging on the ground. I didn't really like it. So I returned it and uh, well, I didn't return it. I actually just sold it to somebody and I got this. So $100. I I can't remember if I had to pay for shipping. A lot of times on Title's website, they'll do deals like Memorial Day, sales, free shipping, 20% off. So uh, just look for those. But value wise, I think this is a great value. Like I said, I think I'll have it for a long time to come. Um, it's worked out great for the past six months. I honestly love it. And I, I think it, I'm more inclined to buy title uh, boxing equipment going forward, whether it be a speed bag or just other types of bags, but I think they make a great product. Actually, one of my friends loaned me these gloves. Um, and this title boxing gel, gel enforced lining is amazing i feel like these are great gloves i've i've got in everlast gloves i got in sanibel gloves ufc gloves and honestly title boxing is by far the winner of all those for me anyway so if you're looking to just get a good workout mix it up stay athletic maybe take on some aggression I feel like a heavy bag is a great addition to any home gym and any workout routine. Um, so look into it. Look into the Title Boxing Soft Strike 3.0 heavy bag. Some of their other products I'm sure are equally as great. But this was my review, quick down and dirty on this bag. Um, so stay working out, stay working hard. Thanks again for joining me. Hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. Leave a comment below and let me know what you guys think. Um, and we'll see you next time.